Today we're going to be going over my favorite and most used vehicles in all of GTA Online right now. Every vehicle that you see in today's video are going to be favorites of mine that I've been using in the past few weeks in GTA Online. And for the first vehicle today we have the True Fade Adder which is undoubtedly my favorite car in the history of GTA Online. The Adder has been in the game since the initial release of GTA 5 back in 2013. Back in 2013 in GTA Online this was the car to get and once I finally got my hands off it. I haven't let go since. At one point in GTA Online, the Adder was the most expensive vehicle in the entire game. Coming in at $1 million, you can buy the True Fade Adder, and back then that was a huge deal because there wasn't a lot that you could do to make money, so literally everyone was just doing races and saving up their money so that they could buy the fastest and the best car in the game. Nowadays, you have vehicles that cost like $8 million, so Back then, this was actually a really big deal if you were seen driving this car throughout the streets. And even today, the Adder still holds up to some of the best performing vehicles and supercars in the game. Not only does the Adder have that really OG factor, but it is also a pretty good performing vehicle and it definitely holds up with some of the newer supercars today. I would definitely recommend getting your hands on one of these if you haven't already. Next up, we have the Impaler LX, which was just released within the newest update to G. GTA Online, the Chop Shop update. The Impaler LX is slowly becoming one of my favorite muscle cars in all of GTA Online. Whenever Rockstar releases a new muscle car, I immediately go towards it because I love having muscle cars in GTA Online. There's something about these muscle cars that I absolutely love and have to have them. I have a complete garage filled with muscle cars and I love using them throughout Los Santos. If you're looking to buy the Impaler LX, it's going to cost you around $1.5 million on the initial purchase and after the upgrades and customizations you're going to be looking at about 1.7 to 1.8 million dollars in total and also if you have GTA Plus this is the free vehicle for the month and I think it is entirely worth it now this car isn't going to be the best for racing but for going around Los Santos maybe doing car shows if you're into that this is going to be a car that you definitely want to pull out and I highly recommend buying this if you are trying to build up your muscle car garages the next car that we have is the car that I definitely would call my main in GTA online I use this car every time I log in it is one of the fastest cars in the game it is the Karen S95. The S95 was already a super fast car, but with the HSW upgrade, it can go even faster and makes it one of the fastest cars in the game. The S95 is free if you switched from Xbox One to Xbox Series X with the extended and enhanced update to GTA Online. Didn't switch, then it's gonna cost you about $2 million and after the upgrades and different customizations that you can add to it, you're gonna be running at about 2.5 million just for this car. Now is $2.5 million gonna be worth it in the end? And my answer is absolutely. This is one of the fastest cars. I can't, I can't stress this enough. It's one of the fastest cars you're definitely going going to want to have this car in your garages. I use this car for the two different time trials throughout Los Santos. It's 100% worth it. Definitely get your hands on it. It's also a super fun car just to drive around in the city. Next up, we have the motorcycle that I've been using a lot recently, which is the LCC Saint. The Saintus was released back in 2016 in GTA Online. And ever since then, during the Halloween updates, the Saintus goes for free out on the websites. The Saintus is jam packed with a bunch of different customizations and upgrades that you can add to it and the handling on this motorcycle feels like you're driving a muscle car in terms of performance the Saintus is actually a very very good motorcycle it competes all the way up to the body 801 in terms of speed although if you're gonna want to buy this it's gonna cost you two million dollars is it worth two million dollars I don't know, probably not. You can oftentimes get this for free, like I said during the Halloween updates. Now, if you're like me, I go through a lot of different phases with my motorcycles. One week I'll be using the Carbon RS, another week I might be using the Manchez. Most of the time it's just the Batty 801, but for some reason, ever since the last Halloween update, I've been using this motorcycle a lot. When it was first released during the Halloween update, it was for free and I've had it ever since. I definitely would recommend buying it if you got the extra money, but if you don't, it's definitely a purchase that you don't want to make right away. 
Next up, we have my favorite truck in the entire game. I use this truck all the time when I'm playing GTA Online. It is the Camacho, which was released back in 2018 with the Doomsday Heist update. Now, this truck is again jam-packed with a lot of different customizations, but that's not even the best part of it. Whether you're using this car for off-roading or for street use, you are going to have a great time. Normally, with these trucks and off-road vehicles in GTA Online, one thing is going to be better than the other. In this case, the Camacho is great for both off-road use and for street use, which you don't see a whole lot. Another great thing about the Camacho is that it only costs $345,000, and this truck is going to be a top 10 truck in GTA Online, and for only 300 k to get a high-end truck like this, it is definitely going to be worth purchasing. Like I was saying earlier, there are a ton of different customizations for the Camacho. There are some customizations that I've never seen on any other car before, but this one. Whether you're an experienced GTA player or not, or you're just looking for a truck to build to your garages, I definitely would add the Camacho. It is perfect for any type of player in GTA Online. The next car we have is the Dominator ASP, which has been my favorite tuner car ever since they were first released. The coolest thing about the Dominator ASP is that you can use it for both muscle car races and tuner car races, and the fact that you can use a tuner car for a muscle car race is kind of cheating. The Dominator ASP was one of my first purchases when the when the tuner update came out and since then it's been one of my go-to vehicles to use throughout the city the asp is going to cost you around 1.3 million dollars which seems pretty high but you're getting a best of both worlds situation using it for muscle car or your tuner car needs after the upgrades and customizations you can expect to cost you can expect the total cost to be around 1.7 million there's a lot of customizations for these tuner cars so it makes sense to why it is so expensive and of course, since I use this vehicle every single day, we have the Oppressor Mark II. The Oppressor Mark II has been a staple to GTA Online, good and bad. It is one of the best vehicles to use when you're doing missions and other things in GTA Online that you need to get across the map for. And it is one of the worst because griefers have completely abused this vehicle. I don't even need to really explain why this is a bad part of GTA Online, but for doing missions, it's one of the best vehicles you can have. If you're gonna wanna buy the Oppressor Mark II, it's gonna cost you a lot of money and some time it's going to cost you around eight million initial dollars but in order to even get to the point of purchasing it for eight million you have to buy a mobile operation center and after all of that plus the upgrades and customizations that you want for this thing you're going to be looking at over 10 million dollars just for this vehicle now obviously the main question is it going to be worth 10 million dollars and the answer is yes you can do missions at light speed with this thing and and you can use it as a great defensive tool to get away from those griefers shooting you down all the time but that is all that i have for today's video if you enjoyed this please leave a like down below subscribe if you are new i upload gta videos every single week and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out